So Okobo, double team, used his dribble, rotates to Howard, who attacks, kicks back to the perimeter, Wembanyana for three, bucket. Victor Wembanyana, Okobo, kicks to the perimeter, Wembanyana lines up and lets fly another three, back-to-back -back three point buckets for Victor Wembanyama. Terrific stroke. Nine points in the game to lead his team in scoring and then Wembanyama with the high. Victor Wembanyama moves to 16 points in the game on four of five shoots, Jones back still number three. Two on one opportunity as Wembanyama rewarded for running the floor five points in a row as he continues to... Victor Wenbenyama is seen as the next generational superstar and today we're going to be doing a rebuild centered around him. The first team that we have in mind of having him in is the San Antonio Spurs. I was originally going to do whatever team drafts him will make him the centerpiece in that team but right now at the moment I'm currently thinking of doing the San Antonio Spurs so we'll try to get him at number one we'll try to pick him up in the draft by trading so this is going to be our roster for the first year I might lower some of these overalls because I don't know if all of them are this high but I could just leave it this is going to be a rotation for the first year I'm going to change some things around I'm going to get Jeremy Sochan to get a lot of minutes have Blake Wesley play some minutes. Joshua Primo is going to play that amount of minutes. Devin Vassell, he's going to be our starting small forward. We'll do something like this. Let me show you guys what I'm thinking to do. I think I'm going to do this. We can't have Keldon Johnson come off the bench since he is our best player. We're going to try to do him at the power forward and Sochan at the center for now. And whoever is going to be the worst player from Devin Vassell or Joshua Primo, they will go to the bench and the other will start. So I won't be making any changes. I might trade for some draft picks, just extra picks for next year, but I'm not going to be making any more changes and we're going to continue to simulate for the season. So at the end of the season, we had 36 wins and 46 losses. Jokic was your MVP with 24 points, 12 rebounds, 9 assists, 1.4 steals on 50, 40, 78. Rookie of the year was Jaden Ivey with 20 points, 7 rebounds, 8 assists, 1.5 steals, and 0.7 blocks. Andre Drummond was your 6th man with 12, 12, 3, 2, and 1. Kawhi Leonard, Defensive Player of the Year with 25, 7, 5, 2, 2, 50, 40, 90. Devin Vassell was our most improved player, so we know who's going to be in the starting rotation next year. 17 points, 5 rebounds, 3.3 assists, 1.4 steals, 0.6 block, and 46, 34, 75. He actually got injured at the end of the season. I was hoping that would lower our wins but we kept we just kept winning which kind of sucks we got a lot more wins than i expected pretty much this is the first team this is the second team and this is the all nba third team let's see if we have anyone in the all rookie team we do have blake wesley 14 we're gonna look at that later jeremy Sochan also made it awesome all right let's go look at our stats and what team we are in right now so we are actually in the play-in tournament i don't want to win this so let's change this rotation okay this is gonna be our rotation for the playoffs hopefully this makes us lose we have these two let's try to put them at starting actually do joe weiskamp he's gonna be starting over Devin vassell and i have kato beats the up at point guard no way we win right we win this game is rigged we freaking won what bro come on man oh my god thank you curry for Cur apparently only curry can defeat us and we're better than the utah jazz with who was it kata baits d up at point guard whatever all right let's simulate this play in simulate playoffs and we're gonna go to the next season going to say warriors with your mvp at the eighth seed hey maybe that could have been us but we want victor on this team so we're at the draft lottery we're projected to have the eighth pick i think i'm gonna watch it this time i'm gonna skip till we get to around the eighth pick and i'll show you guys what we get so oh pick ninth i guess now pick ninth and we get pick ninth god damn it bro all right so we gotta make some trades okay let's try this trade no we'll give them another second round pick no all right so I didn't really want to do this, but let's try to we'll give them one more. They took the trade. 
we got the second overall pick let me see if i could get the first overall no all right whatever we're going to the second pick i know that the suns are going to pick him up even though they have a center that's how this game is so we're just gonna wait we're gonna go to the draft see what happens and yep they picked him up no surprise we're gonna trade for him though okay i'm gonna be doing this trade victor dario Saric for the f second overall pick two seconds Boyan and another second from 2023 let's do this oh we got victor let's go to our pick at 22 you know i haven't had nikolai durasic yet so i'm gonna pick him up shooting guard he could run our backup small forward or shooting guard we'll see i think that's it for the draft with our pick we ended up getting technically scoop but we traded him to the suns for for um victor Wembanyama, who is hakeem olajuwon or steven adams out of the league we're gonna try to make him that hakeem olajuwon comparison and we also got nikola durasic who is david wingate or john jekin so hopefully he's better than that he's currently a 76 overall so i see scotty pippen jr here and i think i might pick him up i'm gonna give him a chance we'll give him around like 9.65 mil per year let's see if he takes a front loaded contract because i don't think anyone else is gonna pick him up we're gonna pick him up we're not picking anyone else up for the year we're just chilling pretty much we simulated the rest of free agency these are our upgrades for this year Keldon Johnson, 83. Devin Vassell, 82 overall. Jeremy Sochan is an 82. Victor, 82. Joshua Primo, 80. 80. 79. 78 is going to be our backup point guard, Scotty Pippen Jr. Yeah, our team looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie. We're going to do some trades and some rotation changes. So these are the changes we're going to do. We're going to have Keldon Johnson be a backup small. Uh, well, he's going to be our small forward, backup power forward. Devin Vassell, he's going to be our shooting guard, backup, small forward. Jeremy Sochan is our power forward, Victor our center. Blake Wesley is going to be our starting point guard. Joshua Primo is our shooting guard and off the bench. And I'm going to make... Let me see, wait, who's taller? Joshua Primo. I'm going to make Malachi the small forward off the bench. And point guard, so let's go look at this rotation right now. Okay, this is going to be our rotation, Blake Wesley at 30. Devin Vassell at 30, Keldon Johnson at 29, Jeremy Sochan 30, Victor 36, 27 for Malachi, 24 for Joshua Primo, 19 for Scottie Pippen Jr. and Dario Sarge at 15 minutes. You, I was going to put him at put it at a 10 man rotation, but I think I'm going to put Nikola in the G League because they usually progress better in the G League than even playing. So we're going to put him in the G League and hopefully he's going to be a good piece for us next year. We're going to have Victor be the first scoring option. We're going to be changing our system to perimeter centric and hopefully this makes Victor average an insane amount because that's usually what Lucas team is at and he always averages a lot of points per game and assists, stuff like that. Now we're going to just simulate the season and see what this team does. Okay, we're here at the end of the season. We had 49 wins, 33 losses. We had a lot of injuries for the season. Hopefully we don't get as injured next year. But John ja Morant was your MVP with 32 points, 6 rebounds, 10 assists, 1.1 steals, 0.1 blocks on 50, 38, 81. I don't know where Luka's at. I'm surprised Luka hasn't got an MVP yet. But let's keep going. Victor Wimbanyama, Rookie of the Year with 23 points, 9 rebounds, 6 assists, 1.2 steals, and 3 blocks almost on 45, 38, 80 percentage look this is what i'm saying victor is an absolute demon and hopefully he gets that double double average next year which i'm sure he will because he's already almost there andre drummond was your six man with 11 points 13 rebounds three assists two steals 1.5 blocks on 48 56 Kawhi Leonard, Defensive Player of the Year with 24.7 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 steals, 1.3 blocks on 50, 40, 90. Marjan Beauchamp was your most improved player with 15, 7, 4.4, 1.1, 43, 39, 74%. Image Ime Udoka was the Coach of the Year with 54 wins. We're not that far off, so we might be the second or third seed. This is the All-NBA First Team. 
This is the All NBA second team, and this is the All NBA third team with Victor already making the All NBA third team. That is what we like to see. He's already getting a legendary career, and we're gonna be doing this rebuild. It's gonna be three years for Victor, so we've already done one year without Victor, so we're gonna do three more years for now. I might do more, we'll see. I'm gonna try to get him a championship and hopefully an MVP by then. So let's keep going. The all defensive team, all defensive second team, Victor already made that too. And these are the all rookie first team members with the all rookie second team members. So we are the third seed and we're going against the MVP, John Morant. I'm guessing Victor is going to want to show off and show that he should have been the MVP, which, you know, probably it's not going to happen this first year, but that's probably his mindset right now. They have a great team. Let's see what we can do in the first round. We're going to simulate round 2-1 right now. And 2-2, two, two, we're tied. Let's, let's simulate with some cast a tiebreaker. We're up. It's a close game. But we're getting away with the win. I'm going to just simulate around. Screw it. And we won in six. Scotty Pippen Jr. is fully healed. Now we're going against Minnesota, who have the same team they had in the starting year. They're also the second seed. So two seed versus three seed. Let's see what happens. We're going to simulate round. Devin Vassell is healed. Blake Wesley got an injury. 3-1 right now. 4-1. We won in five. Let's go. And now we're going against the New Orleans Pelicans who have Zion. Same team as last as they started with. So, okay, my controller died, but now I am back. Like I was saying, same team as last year. Let's see what happens. All right, guys. I kept getting some glitches. My controller died and it wouldn't let me just scroll down for some reason. And... I accidentally simulated the round a little, but I left the game, so we know nothing about what's gonna happen. We're gonna restart it pretty much this round. Let's see what happens now. Blake Wesley is healed, and we're up 3 1. Let me simulate the game. Uh, maybe I should just simulate a round. Damn it. All right. Uh, simulate round. All right, we won in six. Now we're going against the Boston Celtics who are here every year. They have the same team. I don't know why they don't have Marcus Smart uh, starting. Maybe he's not even on the team actually. So there's a chance they don't have the same team. But I like how even our team is right now. Jeremy Sochan got injured. He's back 3-1. Damn, I forgot to simulate with Simcast. Oh man, all right. Hope for the Boston Celtics sake, they don't lose another 3-1 lead to me. Okay, it's 2-3 now. Don't tell me, bro. Okay, we're really close. Really close. Ah, man, we lost. Whatever. We lost. Um, We lost in the finals. Celtics won. I think Jason Tatum was the finals MVP. I didn't want to jump in because we were pretty much going to lose that game. So I'm fine with that. We finally lost in the finals to the Celtics, but go play retirement. We're going to overturn that. So we did not have any draft picks for the 2023 or no 2024 draft technically. And now we are in free agency. Let's see if we go pick someone up to help our team move on to the next step. So we definitely need a backup power forward and center. That looks like all we're really missing. Try to get the best available power forwards. We could get Carl Anthony Towns, but we want a backup one. We don't want to really get rid of the rotation. You know what? I might get Rui Hachimura. He's actually a young player that I really like. So I might just get him. Put him off the bench. I could put him as a starter too, if anything. In your, what is he projected to get? Where's he at? Power forwards. 23 million he wants. And what are his offers? Just to qualifying. I'm going to give him. I'll give him this. Let's see if he takes a three year. 63 million. Centers. Let's get. No, I'm going to get. I was going to get Jonas, but actually he's pretty old. I don't know if I should get him because he's going to go down in, in overall. You know what? I could just get Jacoperto. Bring him back into the team. You know what? I like Jacoperto. I'm going to bring him back to the team. Give him a three-year contract. You know what? Give him a three-year contract. It's going to be 29. Let's get them both. Cool. All right. Oh, they decided to match Rui's deal. So no Rui. Let's just get Kyle Kuzma. Give him like a little bit extra money just so the wizards don't try to match it. All right, we got him. You know what? I think this team is good enough. I'm going to skip the rest of the free agency. This is our team. We have Victor at an 86 overall, Keldon Johnson at an 83, Jeremy Sochan at an 83, 
Blake Wesley, 83. Kyle Kuzma going to be our backup power forward. Devin Russell, shooting guard. Nashua Primo went up. And this is the rest of the team. So this is going to be a rotation for the next season. We have Blake Wesley at 27. Devin Vassell at 28. Keldon Johnson at 28. Jeremy Socha at 28. Victor, 36. Kyle Kuzma is 24 minutes. Nikola Durisic is going to get 22 minutes. Joshua Primo with 20. Yako Perto with 15. Malachi with 12. And sadly, Scottie Pippen does not make the rotation. But we just have so many good players right now that I don't see where he would be able to place. I might switch Joshua Primo to the backup point guard. And that could help us there. All right, now we have a great lineup. All greens. Let's see what happens in this next season. At the end of the season, we won 64 wins and had 18 losses with Lamella Ball being your MVP. We were really close in the mvp race i think we were second but he has better stats if you say lebron james jr is your rookie of the year with 16.7 rebounds and nine assists on 47 41 79 percentage scoot henderson is your sixth man of the year with 19 points five rebounds five assists on 50 40 83 and victor Wembanyama is our defensive player of the year okay so at least we got one award for being the best team in the league so he had 23 points, 8 rebounds, 6 assists, 1.1 steal, and 2.3 blocks on 50, 40, 87. Hopefully, he picks up in rebounding and points next season. Most improved was the metal ball again, and we are the coach of the year with Greg Popovich getting 64 wins and 18 losses. This is All-NBA first team. This is All-NBA second team. Looks like Victor made the second team and not the first. This is All-NBA third team. This is the All-Defensive first team and the All-Defensive second team with the All-Rookie team and All-Rookie second team. So, of course, we're the first seed. We are going against Utah Jazz. You have Sky Clark, Donovan Mitchell, Victor Lodipo, and Jared Vanderbilt running off the rotation with Andre Truman. I feel like we have a better team, but, you know, we can't. We never know what can happen, but we did sweep them. Now we're going against the four seed who are the Golden State Warriors with Steph Curry, Jordan Poole, Andrew Wiggins, Jonathan Kaminga, and James Wiseman. This team, now this is a problem. They do have a better team than us, but hopefully our... Okay, yeah, Ho I was going to say hopefully our backup rotation is going to help us out. And it looks like it did. We won in five. Now we're going against Minnesota, who should be the same team. Same team, but they just added Jayshon Tate. Oh, that means Cat left. Okay, hopefully we get this win. And they have James Harden. How did that happen? But, okay, Victor got injured. Malachi got injured. He's actually out. All right, that's not good. Let's change that up. Alka Pirtle is going to get some minutes now. And the sweep. We swept them. And now we're going against the Detroit Pistons, who have the same team that they started with. They just all developed more. Hopefully we win this. Let's simulate with SimCast. First game is a win for us. Let's go. Let's go to the second game. Second game is looks like it's going to be another win for us. Nice. Let's look at these stats. 32, 10, and 4 for Victor. 27, 4, and 5 for Devin Vassell. I really like how Devin Vassell has progressed. He's, he seems to be like a pretty close to the second option in our team. Caleb Houston got 26 points. Looks like Cade and Jane Ivy did bad this game, so that explains why. But uh, Victor is fully healed now, so hopefully we do better now with him fully healed. And looks like we did because we got another win. Keldon Johnson this time was the m most points in the game, but Victor Wembanyama averaged a triple double at seven foot three. I know some people say he's actually like seven five or something like that. I'm just gonna leave him at seven three because that's his listed height. In 2K23, if he's listed at 7'4", 7'5", we're going to be changing that. We're going to do a rebuild in 2K23 also, so we'll see what his height is going to be listed at by then. Nikola Dursic was also good with 14 points. Blake Wesley too. Jaden Ivey had 26 points while injured on 9 of 10 from the free throw. So he just got a bunch of free throws. Dan Durant also did really good. Let's go to the next game. I think this is the last game. Malachi is back. Let's go and add him to the rotation. All right, let's get to this last game. It's a close game so far. It looks like we have the lead at the very end. And we're going to be winning this game. We're going to just jump in real quick. Maybe let's play let's play a little with Victor and see how he is in game. All right, guys, we're in the game. Let's get Victor. Oh wow, he's he's pretty much. Let's. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying right now. Try to get him open. I messed that up. 
Give him the ball. Give him that little post hook right on top of Jalen Duran. Damn, another triple double by Victor. No way he is not the finals MVP. 32 points, 10 rebounds, and 12 assists. All right, I guess the key to 2K22 is just making um, making the lineup a perimeter centric one, and you're gonna get a triple double like Luka Doncic does. Because what the heck is going on? All right, I messed that up, but Kyle Kuzma with the steal. I tried to do a Euro step with Victor. Oh shoot, I got blocked by Jalen Duran. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna score a point, don't worry. Hopefully I didn't mess up like he had like perfect efficiency or something. All right, Victor's white all alone. Okay, Cade Cunningham's guarding him. Let me try to get in the post with Cade. Damn, Cade is stopping Victor. Okay, this game sucks what was that i can't believe that just happened i literally just pressed the x button to pass it and he just threw it to his feet on i don't know okay let's get victor some more points please he's too tired i think yeah he has like no stamina let's just get a pick and row with him get that alley-oop let's go backwards alley-oop 34 points 10 rebounds and 12 assists and this game is pretty much over there we go san antonio spurs are the champions of the season we got blake wesley Heldon johnson everyone's there champion spurs joshua primo is having an emotional moment right now greg popovich wins another ring he's adding to his legacy with the championship trophy and we all know who's gonna be the finals MVP there's no question Victor Wembenyama course ago rest in peace Bill Russell I do see him right there rest in peace San Antonio Spurs are the champions of the 2025 season on Victor's second year first year he was in the finals second year he got the championship he averaged almost a triple double with almost two blocks on 62% and 60% from the three. He would have probably had better percentage if I didn't shoot those like three misses or something. But that is going to be it. We swept the Pistons. Kate Cunningham had a great game, 31, 10 and four, but they could not stop Victor with a 34, 10 and 12 triple double with three blocks on four of eight from three. Devin Vassell had a great game also, and so did Jeremy Sochan. Going to the draft, we did have one pick, and I think it's the very last pick. Martin Knox, 6'11", small forward, projected 55, and he's a C-. Let's see what he is. You know what? We're going to give Devin Vassell a big contract before his, uh, before his overall or stock goes up even higher. So let's give him a five-year front-loaded contract. Hopefully, he picks this up. Let's give him like 1.9. I think he's going to take that right like there's no way he doesn't that's a great offer and i don't think anyone else would offer that right now so we ended up getting devin Russell and trey jones on pretty good contracts for our team i feel like we don't really need anything else i think our team is pretty set off at player progression victor Wembanyama looks like he's a 91 overall devin Russell became an 86 overall i'm looking at the right side of the screen i know here it says 90 and 85 but on the right side it looks like he's a 91 overall so i'm guessing when the season starts they're gonna pick up more in overall but Heldon Johnson, 85 overall. Blake Wesley, an 85 overall. Jeremy Sochan is also an 85. And this is the rest of the lineup. Hey guys, so I forgot to say that the season started. This is how we're looking so far. This is going to be our rotation. I forgot to show you guys. I just started the season, but we're going to keep going. Let's, let's see what Victor's averaging. 23 points. All right, we're going to try to pick up his points and stuff. By the way, this is how Victor looks. He's from our 2023 draft class. So be sure to download it down below if you want to download this. This is how he looks in our game in 2K22. Let me know what you guys think. And we might change his, honestly, his number. I'm changing Victor's jersey to jersey number one. I feel like that's much, that looks better on him than number 16. Since he does wear number one. We're going to keep going in the season. Hopefully he gets that MVP this year. But we'll see you guys at the end of the season. All right, guys, at the end of the season, we had 62 wins and 20 losses. Victor Wembanyama 
was the MVP. We got it. We got him the MVP, and he averaged 25 points, nine rebounds, six assists, 1.1 steals, three blocks almost on 50, 40, 87 percentage. Vince Williams Jr. was the rookie of the year. That's weird. I'm going to change that. <laughs> uh, we'll give it to Derek Queen, I guess. Sixth man of the year is Amari Bailey with 17 points, three rebounds, three assists, one steal, one block, 50, 40, 76. Giannis Antetokounmpo was the defensive player of the year with 25, 9, 4 on 50, 36, 68 percentage. Mikey Williams is your most improved player with 18 points, four rebounds, five assists, one steal on 50, 40, 78 with Greg Popovich being the coach of the year, 62 and 20. Nice. All right. So we got Victor first team, of course. He really jumped up in his averages this year. This is the all NBA second team and this is the all NBA third team with the all defensive and the all defensive second team. I'm surprised Victor hasn't didn't make any of these, but that's fine. All rookie first team and this is the all rookie second team. So we're going to skip the play in and we have to go against the Minnesota Timberwolves who have Clay Thompson, James Harden, Wendell Moore Jr., Jay Sean Tate and Rudy Gobert. So they pretty just much have like completely different team. The only person that stayed was Wendell Moore and Rudy Gobert. So I'm pretty sure we got this under the back. And what? We just lost in six to this team? Are you kidding me? Anthony Edwards was there? What What just happened? I don't understand what just happened right now. And the Pacers are the champions with Benedict averaging 23 points. Nine rebounds, two assists on 50-50. What the hell? We just lost to this trash team, bro. Are you serious right now? All right. We're going to go one more year. There's no way we're not getting that championship that year. But we'll see you guys at the start of the season. So we're picking at pick 32. This is an automated draft. We're going to just get best player available pretty much. This is the Spurs. I'm going to be getting the draft and stash, I think. Yeah, 19 years old from Italy. Let's get him. If we have any more picks. Okay, I think we have the last pick in the draft. So we will pick up this guy, I'm guessing. See anyone better? All right, we'll just get this guy. All right, let's go to the start of the season now, or we'll, we'll check if we want to get anyone. So at player progression, we have Victor Wembanyama becoming a 95 overall. He's probably one of the best players in the league. Devin Vassell, 87. Jeremy Sochan, an 86. Blake Wesley, 86. Eldon Johnson, 85. And this is the rest of the team. So this is going to be our rotation for the final year. It looks like this are starting five and Victor's actually a 97 overall. That's crazy. And this is the rest of our rotation. So we have some bench pieces that are not that good, but I'm pretty sure we're going to be winning almost every game. I think we have the best player in the league, so I'm sure we're pretty much set. At the end of the season, Victor Wembanyama was our MVP. We had 57 wins and 25 losses. Victor had 25 points, 9 rebounds, 6 assists, 1 steal, and 2.4 blocks on 50, 40, 90. Rookie of the year was Serjan, I don't know, 8 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists, 1 steal, 0.6 block, 40, 39, 66 percentage. Sixth man of the year was Tari Eason with 22 points, 8 rebounds, Two assists, 0.8 steals, 0.4 blocks on 45, 82, 35. And Victor Wimbanyama also got the defensive player of the year. So we just need that championship. And then we're going to have him get one of the only players in the league to get an MVP, DPOY, and championship. That's going to be awesome. So Derek Queen, most improved player, 21 points. Look, good thing I gave him the rookie of the year. Look, he was he's the most improved player. He did insane. And Micah is the coach of the year i wonder what team that is but this is all nba first team all nba second team and all nba third team with victor getting all defensive first team and that's gonna be it let's see if we have anyone i don't think we had any rookies yeah we didn't they were in somewhere else and luca was actually the dallas mavericks were actually the best team in the western conference so hopefully we do good and we beat them so we're tied to, to what is this game man i don't understand how does how is this possible 
Wait, why can't I simulate with SimCast? Oh, guys, I'm out of my mind. I thought I was the New Orleans Pelicans. We're actually the third seed. <laughs> what the hell? How did, how did the Western Conference get so good? We had 57 wins. Okay, so we're going to probably beat the Lakers. We beat them in five. I really thought we were the New Orleans Pelicans because I was like, no way there's a team better than us. But clearly there is. And the New Orleans Pelicans have... Okay, so they have Derek Queen and Isaiah Elheim, I think that's how you say it, and Zion. So... That's a tough team to beat. Hopefully we have it. Let's uh, simulate with SimCast. First game is leaning towards us, but it's still pretty close. Super close, but the Pelicans actually went away with a win. Hopefully we get a win in game two, but it looks like the Pelicans are gonna win again. Yep, they won the second game. Third game, we have to win this game. All right, we won the third game. Let's go, okay, so we just need to keep winning. But, oh, it's a close game. Super close. And we have the lead right now, early on. But it's super close. Oh my god, the Pelicans don't want to lose. But we gotta win this. Come on. We need to keep fighting. Super close game. Super close. Two minutes, one minute and 50 seconds. Pelicans have the lead. Two point game with 59 seconds left. Let's jump in. You know what, I'm gonna play this game. Screw it, right? We're gonna lose, might as well just try it out. Victor is at the power forward. Get that easy dunk with Victor. He has 30 points, eight rebounds, and three assists. Why is he playing the power forward? I mean, I guess it's better for defense, but see what happens. James Book Knight trying to go to rim. Kyle Kuzma dig some good defense. We have the ball. Tied 115, 115, 47 seconds left. Dyson Daniels, no way he's going to guard him. Let's go. Victor with the easy spin layup. All right. Yeah, no way. I knew there was no way they were going to guard me with Victor. He's like an actual freak. Eloheim, he misses the three-pointer. Queen, we're guarding him right now. There's no way he's going to make a bucket over me, so... I hope for his sake. Oh my god. And Kyle Kuzma just leaves giant James Book Knight wide open from the three. I hate this game so much, bro. Why is the CPU so dumb? All he had to do was stay on his guy. All right. We're winning this game. It doesn't matter. We're going to win this game for sure. I have no doubt in my mind. Zion, player of the game. We know that the real player of the game is Victor. But hey, it's pretty close. 12 of 18 for 27 points. Give me the ball go straight to the rim make that bucket easy bucket i know i probably should have waited a little but you know screw it let's just get that easy bucket out of the way let's try to play some good defense i'm gonna get the best defensive team out right now all right this is gonna be our lineup for the defense right now okay hopefully this team just stays on their man that's all they need to do no threes do full court press Hey, James Book Knight, he's going to shoot the three, and he misses. I got the ball when we won the game. One point game. Screw it, right? We got to get this. We got to get this championship. <laughs> um, I don't usually jump in a play, but I just wanted to try out Victor before the rebuild finished. And we won the game 119 to 118 with a Victor game winner. Let's keep going. All right, we're 3-2 right now. Let's see if we can come back. We have the lead early on and looks like we're gonna get another win 3-3 three, three. come on man 3-3 three, three. we gotta win this please come on you guys gotta fight victor come on you're the best player in the nba 108 to 110 111 to 112 one minute 30 seconds left one minute left we have the lead 30 seconds left and we won let's freaking go we came back from the 3-1 deficit against the second seed we are the third seed but we are now going against the first seed who has Luka Doncic I'm guessing yeah Luka Doncic and Ben Simmons Pascal Siakam how did they get this team all right come on we need to win this I know Luka is insane but we have Victor who's only one overall lower come on this is a good series let's see what happens in the first game Dallas goes on with the early lead and 
San Antonio Spurs come back, but the Dallas Mavericks blows it off. Damn, I didn't get to stop the game. It didn't even let me, but all right, close game. But looks like the Dallas Mavericks are going to take this one away. So up to oh right now. Okay, thank God. All right, so now we're set because Jeremy Sochan is finally recovered from his injury. And there's no way they're going to beat us now. I'll just say that. Do a nine-man rotation. Come on, bro. There's there's no way. This team is too good now. We're going to come back 2-0 uh, right now. Let's go. And, yeah, looks like we're going to go win 2-1. Let's go, bro. We have our full team now. Close game. Dallas Mavericks have the lead. Looks like they're going to win this game. So, it's going to be, what is it? one or three two we've come back from three one deficit multiple times let's see if we can do it again okay we got the we got this win for sure no way we didn't win all right let's go three two right now go to the next game close but we have the lead come on come on three three one more game left we need to get this win. Close, but we have the lead. We have the lead. Let's fuck. Let's go, bro. I almost cursed. <laughs> that was not good. <laughs> but three, four, three. Let's go. We came back again. And now we are. Oh, I accidentally skipped a bunch. All right. The Spurs. We won the championship. We swept the Detroit Pistons. I am so upset that I skipped it. But Victor Wembanyama, of course, finals MVP. He actually averaged lower than he usually did. This time he only averaged 24 points. This is insane. This is a great amount, by the way. I'm just saying, compared to his other finals MVP, averaged 24 points, nine rebounds, five assists, one steal, and five blocks on 40. 40 efficiency. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for the Victor Wembanyama San Antonio Spurs rebuild. In the last season, he averaged 25 points, 8.7 rebounds. Well, sorry, he averaged, yeah, 8.7 rebounds, six assists, one steal, 2.4 blocks on 50, 40, 90. And these are his playoff stats. If you look at his accolades. His final accolades were two MVPs. He got back to back MVPs, two championships, two all stars, uh, what, two first team All NBA one second team all nba one third team all nba and two defensive player of the years with a bunch of first team and second team all defense he also got the rookie of the year and was first team all rookie i hope you guys enjoyed this rebuild please leave a like comment down below and subscribe tell me who you guys want to see do next we're going to be doing anthony edwards rebuild next so let me know what you guys thought about this rebuild and i'll see you guys next time